The upcoming Fox superhero film Deadpool is now less than one month away. And although we've known for some time that the film was aiming for an R rating, it is now official. The MPAA just gave Deadpool an R rating. For as they describe it, strong violence and language throughout, sexual content, and graphic nudity. Schnapp Byer saw the MPAA rating and explanation for Deadpool. Yeah, I fully buy it. Hell yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> we've, been want, we want, we've been wanting these MPA people to, the MPAA people to wake up and smell the coffee, and I'm glad that Fox had the, the testicular fortitude to make this happen because this is what we wanted, and now it's going to just all depend on all of you people who wanted an R-rated uh, superhero film, especially Deadpool, to go out and pay for it with your real money and see it and support it support and make it a big it. hit because that's what it has to be now to support other uh, more adult franchises. So, what the part about this that I'll, I'll be honest, the part that obviously getting an R rating does not surprise us. Mm -hmm. uh, they announced right. that they were doing that. The part that surprises me, though, in the description, strong violence, no surprise. But these next two, uh, where did it go? Uh, and language throughout, we knew that. But then sexual content and graphic nudity. Mm -hmm. These are the same tags that they put on Fifty Shades of Grey mm -hmm. last year, by the way. Right. I'm a little surprised by that. Now, we saw in one of the Red Band's trailer, he goes into a strip club, there's going to be a topless girl there, but that doesn't get that tag graphic nudity. They don't usually put that on for a topless shot here, there, or whatever. They'll, they'll put nudity, mm -hmm. some nudity, whatever. Um, so I find that a little surprising. There's going to be a little bit more rubbing of body parts in this movie than I mm -hmm. was originally anticipating. By the way, I, if, if you don't follow me on Twitter, you should follow me at John Campia. But I put up this uh, a picture that like, sent to me today. <laughs> Sorry, you're just, uh, there's a lot of nudity. By the way, I put up a picture of that. <laughs> <laughs> you really want to get your day started right. <laughs> no, uh, so. Laying on a bearskin rug. <laughs> I call this image... Seduction. Anyway, so uh, I put up this picture that somebody sent to me. The the greatest marketing campaign in history continues. Uh, as far as films go, somebody sent me this picture. I put it up on my Twitter, and it's a billboard on, on the side of the highway, and it's a picture of a skull, and right beside it is a picture of a pile of, of shit, and then beside that is the letter L. And then underneath it says, February 12th, oh, dead poo ol. And I thought, this is yeah. freaking brilliant. So check that out. It's awesome. Anyway, your reaction to the R rating and the explanation for the R rating from the MPA. Uh, same thoughts as you guys. Uh, you know, it, duh. We knew it was going to be rated R as it should be. They said they were going for the rated R. Everything that we've seen so far indicated that it was going to be rated R. But I'm actually not shocked about the sex and nudity because in one of, the, I guess, the last Red Band trailer, you see him going at it with his wife. Right. And that looks, and, and she, great actress, has been known to do a lot of nude sexual scenes oh, yeah. before. She's in Homeland. She's done it in, in a few other movies too so not surprised at all and you know they're going pun intended balls to the wall mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, now now you just gave them an idea for a new for a new Meme. spot yeah, there you go. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds just slapping his balls against balls the, wall. To the wall and without saying balls to the wall he'll just mm -hmm. turn to the camera and say do you get it yeah with an right. R the rated R with on the balls hey guys if you like this clip click here to watch the entire episode also make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider